my friends, I welcome you all to the channel Russian Cuisine in English. Well, today I promised whenever I cook something with meat, then the next version for the vegetarians to follow. And today we are going to have our vegetarian selenka or mushroom selenka. I know we never learned the word mushroom in Russian and it's a very interesting word to pronounce. Let's learn it. Grip, grip, grip. This is singular, grip, грибы, грибы, plural, грибы, mushrooms. And then we are forming our adjective because Salanka is gender feminine. Our adjective has to agree with gender and number. Salanka, грибная Salanka, грибная Я грибная солянка, грибная солянка. Let's go through the list of our ingredients. And I'm going to start with the last ones first. I'm going to mix olives today. I'm going to have black olives, черные оливки, черные оливки, and green olives, and green olives. Зеленые оливки, зеленые оливки, черные оливки. The new ingredient that we hadn't had in the previous one, that we didn't have in the meat salanka, because I forgot about them. Capers, I bought capers and I'm going to add just a teeny bit of capers. Then, of course, mushrooms. And let me tell you something about mushrooms. I do live in a wonderful area. It's Central California, it's Monterey area, and we have farmer's market. And I've discovered that the farmer's market, these miracle mushrooms, they are Russian mushrooms. I mean, they do grow in Russia and they are essential ingredients for mushroom salyanka, for gribnaya salyanka. That's why I was so lucky that I ran into these mushrooms. They're very, very special mushrooms. And one of them are dried chanterelle. Chanterelle in Russian is lisichki, lisichki, lisichki. And here I have dried porcini, dried porcini. And this is the king of all the mushrooms in Russia, belly grip. Billy grip. This is really, it's highly regarded, wonderful, wonderful mushroom uh, that uh, it didn't grow in Siberia, it grows in the European part of Russia, but um, this is the very famous mushroom and majority of all the recipes in Russian mushroom dishes, this mushroom has to be there, Billy grip. Белый гриб, лисички, белый гриб. And I took half of each packet and I already placed those mushrooms in the water. And it was in the morning and I started, I placed it at around 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, by now, they've been in the water for five hours. And you see the weight of the mushroom is one ounce, why one ounce? And it means I took half out of this and half out of this. And I have about an ounce of the dry mushrooms. And they've been sitting in my uh, pot over here. And it smells so nice as if I'm in the woods. Just, just pick those mushrooms and it's so wonderful. Later in the process, I'm going to fish them out and I chop. Uh, finally, I'm going to dice them and then add those to the soup. So mushrooms, and of course, then I have fresh mushrooms because we have to have a variety of mushrooms. Fresh mushrooms, any type of mushrooms going to do. And this is the, the, the entire amount of this uh, what, what do I have? I have eight ounces. 
eight ounces so it's 200 grams and um, 200 grams they all go in the soup in Solyanka and they're also very fresh I bought them cut and I probably will cut them a little bit more what else do we have I have smetana sour cream I have my ketchup I have ketchup and I have my vegetable plate since it's a vegetarian dish feel free to uh, improvise carrots potatoes pickles garlic tomatoes and onion okay I think that's pretty much everything for the soup and I, I'm going to add some bell pepper, the miniature bell pepper, because since it's a vegetarian, I'm free to do whatever I'm doing. The oil for this dish is going to be my avocado oil. I do have my pot over there. The vegetables will be simmered on the frying pan next to the pot. And that's how our soup will come together well let's begin our process first we're going to cut our potatoes and we will place the potatoes in the pot so the first ingredient that is the, is the first ingredient that goes into soup here and don peppers is over there popwisitska okay first we do potatoes Potatoes is the first vegetable that goes into the pot. Kartoffel. Our kartoffel. We see our station over here that is ready to work. Here is the pot and here, here is the frying pan and here is the pot. Actually, frying pan today is going to be used even more often because first I'm going to fry some mushrooms our those mushrooms that they go into the pot so let's turn it on and now potato goes the first ingredient is in the pot and since we don't have meat it's not going to take that long time that's why the vegetarian soups much nicer in terms of time consumption they save our time now let's take care of the mushrooms i'm going to use the oil and we will be frying the mushrooms over here fresh mushrooms okay mushrooms are here and our goal is to make sure that as much water goes out of the mushrooms as possible we are going to literally dry dry mushrooms on the frying pan i cut them a little bit so, so they are not that evenly cut they there are some this size and they are small pieces as well so you don't need to be very accurate it depending so the smaller pieces of the mushroom there will be a nice filler in the broth in the soup making the soup thicker but um, the large pieces of the mushroom they, they're just going to make a beautiful picture in your spoon what's important mushrooms you're frying them on high heat because it's not going to be such a long frying process just making sure that water evaporates from our mushrooms and we are going to have nice golden mushrooms to go into our soup the soup we start at the medium heat and this one look at this wonderful action they're really being fried I hope that you all know that quality of the mushrooms, they are shrinking in size. Don't be afraid, but you always have to keep in mind that quality. Because if 
if you are not very generous with mushrooms then you won't be able to even see mushrooms in your pot a little bit more and we will be ready to send the mushrooms into the pot well i guess we are here let's turn it off This is the first part of the mushrooms, fresh mushrooms. We're going to add dry mushrooms that are no longer dry. And let me show this better to you. So these are the mushrooms. And I'm going to use the water also from this mushroom because at this point it's very aromatic it smells like fresh mushrooms i'm going to cut this mushroom a little bit later and send them into the pot as well but right now and the water going to be used from these mushrooms very nice Onion and carrots. Onion and carrots. I'm going to be using spices on this side of the dish. So all the spices like paprika, um, salt, pepper will go in here. Separate salt will go into the pot and the bay leaf also going to be in the pot. all about pickles that sourish taste that this is that this soup is famous for it's really only due to use of the pickles in this soup actually russian cuisine has a soup made mostly out of these pickles and that soup is rasolnik rasolnik one of these days i may do as well because it's very interesting that pickles <laughs> go as the ingredient into the soup please let me know in the comments have you heard about this phenomena do you have anything in common in your cuisines from where you're from whether you're using pickles in your cooking a lot because russia because of the climate and the fresh vegetables available only throughout summer and you had to last the entire year there were a lot of pickling and preserving in Russian cuisine and of course when you have all these preserves of pickled vegetables you better find a good use for those vegetables that's how it's explained that we use pickles in so many dishes and don't forget I'm going to add some pickle juice in that frying pan as well okay I'm here I'm here Adding our pickles. It also looks good. Everything is looking good. Peppers. Beautiful, beautiful. It's 
smells good. Okay, some paprika. Oh, oh, lots and lots of paprika. Then I'll get some red chili hot pepper a little bit over here. I think I overdid paprika. I'll let you know how it goes. And then black pepper. And um, no salt in here because it's going to have pickle juice. And let's have it right now. like paprika I think I was too gen overly generous with my paprika the soup finally is boiling I'm going to reduce the heat and now it's time to add those mushrooms that that were in that pot let's go to the board to the cutting board I'm going to chop those mushrooms finally in and send them into the pot let's work with these mushrooms and um, i'm going to use my hands here fishing them all out and i'm using paper towels just to dry them a little bit nice very nice i told you i'm going to use this water in soup i'll add some water and going back in history and those preserves winter preserves that's why the culture of gathering of berries and mushrooms in the woods during summertime was also a huge cultural part of russia russian cuisine and yes when you get all the mushroom then you dry them and uh, you can use them throughout winter time because they had such a high nutritious value and most of the times russians they didn't have that much meat and uh, mushroom replacing meat qualities within the bodies within the nutrients that your body needed and that's why mushrooms are very popular still in russia so let's go and place them into the soup okay here we are these are dry mushrooms coming over here what i'm going to do now i'll pour this water into this soup it's going to add some aroma and i think now would be a good time to salt the soup and by now again you know i have this spoon and i have this salt container and i know that for this pot i need this much of salt and the rest of the spices are over here over over here you heard it you saw it and when i was placing them and of course we're going to be using some um bay leaf three i just love using three okay three bay leaves but a little bit later i'll keep that i'll save it for later let's see how we do now here mm, very nice and now it's a ketchup time Again, we need this soup to be red. I'm going to add a little bit of mushroom broth in here. Mm. 
magic. Almost, almost. Okay, now it's time to put everything together. Final assembly for the soup. The time of the final assembly goes very nicely. This also boils very nicely. And Let's do it. <laughs> Last time I did it better. Okay. Good. I'm going to let it boil for maybe 10-15 minutes and then our olives and capers will go in. And now is the time for the bay leaf. One, two, three. And let it, let it simmer. Our greens. <clears throat> baby dill parsley cilantro we're chopping it finely and since i am a little bit lazy today with my garlic i'm not going to mince it i'm just cutting it perfect and now we are adding capers and olives any type of olives whatever you like they're supposed to be pitted the one requirement is pitted because if you get a pit in your soup then you may break your teeth because you really don't see much what you are eating. So make sure that all the olives are pitted. Wow, that's the soup. That's how it looks. Looks very nice. See, this soup turned out not to be as thick as the meat one. The consistency of this soup is more likely like a real soup. Mmm, smells very nice. Five more minutes and then the greens will go in. Now I want to bring the soup to a boil with all the latest ingredients, with all the olives and capers. I want to make sure that the soup is mixed together that the temperature high temperature goes through all the layers of the soup and the moment it starts boiling right now it's on the highest and the moment it starts boiling i'm going to bring it back to simmering and let it simmer before the herbs going in for those of you who don't like beets no beets no beets but it's a red soup no beets good and now our herbs and that the soup is ready the assembly is done all it's going to need just to sit for another 20 minutes and the soup is going to be ready Voila, 20 more minutes and the miracle will be served. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, the moment of truth. Here is our soup. Look, 
it smells so good it sat on the stove for quite right amount of time and now it's ready to be served i wish you all here so you would be able to smell this delicious soup mm. Mm, smells good okay so let me get my bowl soup bowl mm -hmm. And last time I used a smaller bowl, it didn't look that good. So, and the color is just right. It's wonderful. And what are we going to add to this? Of course, sour cream. Say it with me, smitana, smitana. Sour cream and slice of lemon. Well, my dear friends, another wonderful food presentation. Here's our soup. Do you see it? This is the mushroom salyanka, mushroom salyanka. Now you know how to cook it. And as always, I say thank you so much for being with me. That was the mushroom salyanka. And I hope that you, if you're going to cook it, you'll like it. And you have to let me know how it will come out. If it's good, if you liked it, I can't wait to read your comments. Thank you so much again for subscribing to the channel. Hope you saw Don Peppers, at least you heard Don Peppers helping us with this wonderful soup. And I'll see you very, very soon.